public housing authorities are partnering with private developers to revitalize communities. Usually these are very, very um, um, distressed public housing communities with you know, serious physical problems and, and uh, families that have really been abandoned and, and are subject to crime. And uh, housing authorities are working with private developers to uh, usually demolish those properties and, and begin again, but sometimes rehab the existing buildings. And there's a pretty comprehensive um, economic process, financial process, legal process, and, and, and social and community process needed to make that happen. It's a very difficult business for a lot of reasons. I mean, the, the simplest reason is simply that it, it requires money and it requires assistance from a lot of people, from government agencies, from lenders, from investors, and uh, something has to really work for people to put their money in. I mean, just they, they have to know that it's going to happen. And there are many, many contingencies that are hard to control. Uh, beyond that, it's, it's difficult because you're dealing with people's homes, you're dealing with the homes of people who have frequently been um, neglected by the system or disrespected or abused in different ways. And, and they have a deep suspicion uh, that, that you, the, the developer or the lawyer, are just like everyone who has come before, saying that you're there to help them, and, and you're not. And so winning the trust of, of the people who are affected is, is always difficult. And actually, I can say this. I've, I've worked with a lot of public housing authorities as well as with a lot of developers. And in one or two instances, I've worked with public housing authorities where Michaels was the developer. Um, so I've, I've seen them from all sides. And, you know, what strikes me about Michaels is, A, they bring a very competent team. I mean, the fact is there are a lot of skills required to make the process work, and, and there are people who are doing it who are, you know, well-intentioned but undercapitalized or underskilled, and, and that's never true of Michaels. When something needs to happen, they bring somebody who's good at it to make it happen. Um, and the other thing that strikes me is that um, they're not greedy, honestly. They, um, they want a fair return. They make clear sort of what they need to make something happen, but they also want to make it work for their partner, for the public housing authority, and they, um, you know, they know that everybody has to get something out of a deal to be enthusiastic about it. So they've al always been good deal makers in that respect. And, and then once they commit to something, they, they do it.